Welcome back everyone. I have been using iOS 16 for a day now. I'm gonna talk about it. When I upgrading to iOS 16, my iPhone stuck on the Apple logo loading bar somehow. And when I finished upgrade, during daily normal use, it also stuck on the Apple logo and boot loop somehow. I know how it feel when you met these situations. So I'm going to show you guys how to deal with these situations. Let's go. Method one, force restart. A reboot might fix the issue. So press the volume up and press the volume down button. Then press and hold the power button and keep holding till the Apple logo appears. If everything goes right, your iPhone should be normal again. If it is not, it will return to the Apple logo or boot loop again. If this happens on your iPhone, you can follow the next method. Method 2, fix iOS 16 iPhone stuck on Apple logo and boot loop with re -Ib. This is an iOS system repair tool. It can repair more than 150 iOS system issues. Check the download link in the description and download Reiboot. Once installed, connect your iPhone to it. If Reiboot didn't detect your iPhone, you need to put it in recovery mode first. Click the green start button and click standard repair. Here will require a download, just click it. Be patient, wait for the download complete won't be long. Then click Start Standard Repair. The repair process might take some time. Be patient and do not disconnect your iPhone during the process or it won't work. When it is done, you can see my iPhone Apple logo and boot loop issue is gone. I can use my iPhone without any problem. If after standard repair, your iPhone Apple logo and boot loop bugs are still there, then there is nothing you can do but try deep repair, but do aware that deep repair will cause data loss. Just choose deep repair here, and the whole process is the same as standard repair, so I'm not going to show your guys again. Method 3. Fix iOS 16 iPhone stuck on Apple logo and boot loop with iTunes or Finder. Connect your iPhone to a PC or Mac and open iTunes or Finder. Here you need to put your iOS 16 iPhone in recovery mode first so that iTunes or Finder can detect Press the volume up and press the volume down, then press and hold the power button till the recovering mode screen shows up. Then you will see iTunes pop up a window that tells you your iPhone need to be update or restore. Click update here, and iTunes will begin to download the firmware that is needed. Usually, it will take about one hour. So, I will skip it. When it finished the download, it will start to upgrade your iPhone. This process also will take a long time, so I will speed it up. When the process is done, you can see my iPhone is back to its normal state. If you don't want to use iTunes, still recommend you use Reiboot. Just go try it on. That's it. Hope this video is helpful to you. I will be grateful if you subscribe. See you guys soon.